Let's find some bandages. I think they're here. Hello, first aid. Back to clan. Let's have a look at that figure. Let's bandage her up. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Light the little kid. Should I see if there's anything in the drawer? Nothing useful. Let's talk to us more. How's your trip? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Sure, we need to track down the keys that are going to help Larry. Needs Clem in there. No, she's following me. I like how you just see a hat following you. How's it doing? I'm not sure about your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. That was hard acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really the option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, no one? Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Got it too. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't need it. It's just that. Yeah. Got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, it really seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She's been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in the jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor in, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, 
What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor here. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of him. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around the zombies. He comes with family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor and get Glenn and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use the job. Let me give her batteries. There was this one. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Could you ever got some chocolate balls? So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Is that much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. She doesn't want another one yet. I can do something else. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Okay, so where's the radio there? It's that much but here for the board. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay, so now there. Four. What was this? Oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. And there she is. Get her back. The radio. Great, thanks. pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. Uh -huh. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. 